all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, you guys, what's up? It's your girl, April, and today's video is Amazon Prime. You know, well, it's really by Bly Hair, but you know, they available at Amazon, Amazon Prime. Get your stuff on time, girl. So it's a 13 by six lace frontal. It comes with some combs in it. You know what I'm saying? I did put an elastic band up in this puppy, and this is the things that's gonna come in your box. So first of all, the wig is really, really cheap. Okay, you gonna get this pink box, girl. And you know what I'm saying? You're gonna get a 13 by four, you know, a 13 by four, not a 13 by six. It's 14 inches, 150% density, and it's only $76.99, girl. So check Amazon. I'll leave all of the information below for you guys. So, in case you guys are wondering, how did I get like these pretty little highlight colors in this wig? Like, oh my god, girl, I'ma give me a wig like that from Amazon too. No, boo. See, you gotta do you, okay? And make it do what it do. So I actually had some hair dye left from my dark and lovely um box dye because I had did a wig like right before this one, and I had some hair dye left. And I don't like wasting nothing, okay? I'm, I'm serious, like I don't really like wasting nothing. So I was like, well I don't got a whole lot left, but I got enough left to just do a little something something. So I just did a little something something on this wig, whatever I had left, and that that color that I used was like that, that blonde box, that amber, you know, that blondish honey blonde, you know, with the fake Beyonce girl on the box, you know, fake Beyonce on the dark and lovely box. That's the box that I use, okay? So anyway, you know, I did pluck it and I did bleach the knots. Well, I bleached the knots, then I plucked it, and then I, you know, I did all that stuff. But um, yeah, so the wig is 14 inches, it's $76, you know what I'm saying? It's from Amazon Girl by Bly Hair. Um, Amazon Prime, you know what I say, Amazon Prime, get your shit on time. Like, you know, if listen, I like Amazon. I really, really love them because I'm saying, girl, if you don't like something, you could send it back. You can get your money back. And you know it's kind of hard to get your money back when you got a wig. So I'm just saying, like, I mean, that's the benefits. But if you don't like returning stuff, then you could just keep it and clutter your house up, girl. But listen, I'm just saying, give them a try. The wig is pretty decent. $76, 14 inches, 150% um, density. I really swear to you guys that this is not 14 inches. I think they don't know what they're talking about. I really think the wig is 16 inches, but you know, either way, it's from Amazon. You know, it is customizable. You will need to put an elastic band in it. I mean, unless your head is really big. Um, it does fit nice and comfy, you know, stuff like that. So what I'm doing here, you guys know as normal, like I always do. That's why I'm not really explaining nothing, but I'm gonna just get to doing my job right now. Stop running my mouth. Oh, yeah, I've used my got to be Glam Force hairspray just to slick down the baby hairs and the sideburn hairs that I combed or I styled, whatever. The jar that I just showed you was actually my got to be Glam Force hair gel. And the reason why it's in a jar is because if you place it in a jar or some type of other container with a top, it will oxidize the gel and it will make it a lot thicker, which will also allow it to dry faster and it will also allow you to style your hair or whatever a lot quicker. So I just pour all the gel into like a little jar, a little clean jar with a lid and I just leave it like that so it gets really thick and tacky and it's just a lot easier to use. That's just what I do. I mean girl you could do whatever you want but that's how I do and I believe you could do that with like every gel. So I'm going to just take my rat tail comb and I'm just going to just use my blow dryer to apply this wig. You know, lay it down, let it cool off, girl. You know what I'm saying? But actually, honey, let me tell y'all, this video was done like at the end of October. So, um, yeah, I'm a little bit late on this video right here. Okay? Like, just a little bit. But, you know, just forgive it, girl. I'm finally getting caught up on all of my videos. Thank goodness. And, um, you know, life is life. Um... Just, you know, dealing with things the best that I can and just getting through a day, day by day. You know, that's how it goes. But other than that, the hair turned out cool. You know, there were some knots that were not bleached, but I'm not like no big, no big deal. The bottle of water that I have is a bottle of water, but it has some of the Carol Daughters uh, leave-in conditioner milk in it. And it's really good for curls. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Yes, girl. It's really good. But you cannot use a lot of that stuff. So if you're using the Carol's Daughters leave-in conditioner hair milk, 
try not to use a lot because if you do use too much it will make the hair so heavy and greasy feeling like yeah really greasy so I try not to use a lot because it's very you know a little is less is, uh, is less is more okay but um yeah so I just put that in there because you don't want to just spray water on the wig or the hair you want to make sure you have it some type of moisturizer in it so it doesn't dry it out but yeah girl you know now I'm going to use this got to be fantastic styling mousse and I like this stuff it's I got it from the Dollar Tree okay I'm not saying it's there no more but that's where I got it from girl okay So I use the mousse guys to just sculpt my baby hairs and kind of like form the style of the hair. I do like to use mousse, um, but I would suggest, you know, if you want to save money on mousse, check your Dollar Tree out. I love the pink can, which is by Salon Selectives. There's a brand called Salon Selectives at the Dollar Tree, which has amazing mousse. This mousse has been out forever. My mama told me about it, okay, so it's nothing new. But it's really good mousse for a dollar, so I would suggest that. So I'm just going to go back in with my rat tail comb. And I did put some of that got to be Glam Force gel at the tip of it. And I'm just going to kind of form these baby hairs the best that I could. Like, listen, sis, the wig was $76. Like, you're not getting, like, a wig that Beyonce will wear. But I'm just saying, we can make it look real as possible. Like, I'm just saying, you guys, you know, save your coins. I mean, I do like really expensive wigs too, girl. But, you know, if you want a collection of wigs going, honey, you got to have, like, each price range up in there. So just work it out to the best of your abilities. You know what I'm saying? Like, do the best you can. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm doing the best I can. You know, some of the knots were still visible to me. And, you know, I'm really particular about my baby hairs, the wig. Like, I I think it's my paranoia. I don't like to go outside and everybody be knowing I got a wig on, okay? I don't know why, but I just don't. I'll tell you, but I just don't want the world to know. I'm just, like, really paranoid. So I'm going to just take the blow dryer and I'm going to just, you know what I'm saying, style the hair, press it back, you know, all that good stuff. But I'll definitely link their information below for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not going to be keep talking for too long to entertain y'all. Okay, just watch the damn video. I love you guys, and I'll be back at the end with my commentary. So she turned out somewhat cute. I'll leave all the information below. I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Bye. Uh,